so uh, we're going to begin our program. The way we envisioned this was we would have each alderman introduce themselves, take a minute to do that, and then at each table you would spend 12 minutes talking with each other, talking with an alderman or alderwoman, and then at the end of 12 minutes, and this is Amanda Gusty, our executive director to my left, she'll give me the signal or she has a microphone and she'll say it's time for everyone to move except for the aldermen and women, right? Oh, they're moving, okay. That's what I thought it would be. <laughs> Otherwise I saw chaos. Otherwise I saw chaos, good. So, it looks as though, it looks as though the first alderman that, actually alderwoman that we're going to ask to introduce herself is a um, senior member of the City Council of Chicago and Alderman Austin, just a few years ago, your late husband was a student of mine when I taught at the Chicago Police Academy, by the way. So if you would introduce yourself. On table three. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Alderman Carrie Austin. I am the alderman of the 34th Ward. I am grateful to be in your presence today. I'm also grateful this is my seventh term as alderman of the 34th Ward. Mostly everybody in the room know who I am. Uh, but it is an absolute pleasure to be in the city club. I just have but one fault. You never had me in to do any speaking. Uh -oh. <laughs> but every time I thought he, they were gonna call me, I was getting nervous. Uh, but it is an honor to be able to sit at each table today and answer any questions that you would have of me and any of my colleagues. Any of them that can't answer, call me. I'll help them out. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Austin. And Amanda, where are you going next? Yeah, who's next? Who's next? Ah, there he is. From the 12th Ward, right? From the mighty 12th Ward, exactly. Okay. Alderman George Cardenas, <clears throat> this is my fifth term, and I'm honored to be here with you guys. I spent my formative years in corporate America. Uh, in 2002, I ran for office, and I was elected. I'm here. Um, it is what I do now, uh, and I, I love it, along with my colleague, Carrie Austin, and probably some other folks that are here today. So I'm ready to talk about some of the things that you would like to talk about, because uh, there's a lot that we have uh, information on. So. Good morning, everyone. Alderwoman Sue Sidlowski Garza. Sorry, George, the Mighty Ten. Um, this is my second term as alderman, and I am proud that I was named Chairman of Workforce Development by our new mayor. Um, I'm humbled and I'm proud to represent the working class people. That includes everyone around here, too. Um, I'm looking forward to the next four years to. Uh, you know, do some really wonderful things in Chicago and um, bring some brightness and some fairness to the people that work here. And that includes everyone. So thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right over here. For those of you not familiar with uh, the 10th Ward, you know, that's where the streets have names like Avenue M and O and all that, the great southeast side. Okay. Good morning. I am Alderwoman Jeanette Taylor from the 20th Ward. Um, thank you. I am the new kid on the block, but um, I am grateful and honored to be representing my community. Uh, I am the community organizer, so I talk organizing talk. And I've come to the City Club a lot. I'm usually sitting at the table um, with somebody doing a presentation and making all the noise, knowing that's not what you're supposed to do at City Club. So thank you all for having me this morning. Thank you, Alderman. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? I'm uh, Alderman James Kappelman, 46th Ward. Uh, Sue Garza 
has the largest ward in the city. Geographically, I have the smallest, over 92 different languages uh, spoken in, in the 46 wards in the uptown community and some of Lakeview. Uh, I'm a native of Houston, Texas. I came here with a very thick southern accent, but you can't have an accent if you're a uh, politician in Chicago, so it quickly disappeared. Um, uh, my background, after I came here as a Franciscan monk. Um, studying for the uh, priesthood and uh, flunked the vow of obedience and um, ended up becoming a social worker and now alderman. Thank you, alderman. Thank you, good morning everyone. Alderman Hopkins from the second ward, uh, thank you. Uh, Alderman Garza, of course, the largest ward, and you just heard Alderman Kaplman say he's got the smallest ward. I have the strangest looking ward, so <laughs> at least I've got that distinction. Uh, city club member and a city club speaker, so uh, when Ed and Jay call, I say yes, and I didn't realize I was saying yes to this new format today, so I'm interested to hear how this works out. I do kind of like the concept of a forced end to a conversation because I get in a lot of conversations that I can't get out of. So if this works, I may have a staff person follow me around with a whistle and just blow every 12 minutes. Okay, you're done, now move on to the next and see if we can get more done that way. But uh, I'm looking forward to my second term. We have a lot of challenging, challenges in this city uh, and I know I speak for all of my colleagues when I say that we're optimistic about what we can accomplish with a new mayor, a new administration, a, a fresh set of eyes on some old problems and challenges. Um, the indications are already uh, that we're gonna see some monumental things happening quickly in this administration and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it, so thank you. Thank you, Alderman Hopkins. By the way, Brian, about those potholes on Walton Street, okay. Good morning. To <laughs> Brian's our alderman. Good morning, uh, Tom Tony, alderman of the 44th Ward. I'll say, th I'll say this, it uh, hasn't been said before, the most exciting ward of the city of Chicago, <laughs> or dynamic, I should say. Uh, uh, obviously, um, we have the lakefront, we have Boys Town, we have Southport Corridor, and we have the famous first place Cubs in our ward. So <laughs> it's exciting, there's always something going on 24-7. Uh, um, I, this is my fifth term, and as uh, Gay Pride Month, I was uh, honored to be the first openly gay elected alderman in Chicago, and th that got me the honeymoon for about two weeks, okay, and, uh, but uh, last but not least, uh, I'm a small business advocate on the council, having own, owned Dan Sather's in about six months, 40 years. Thanks. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I am newly elected Alderman, uh, Alderman Felix Cardona, Jr., 31st Ward. Thank you. My, I'm Northwest, uh, Northwest Side Alderman, uh, consisting of Logan Square, Hermosa, Belmont, Cragen, Avondale, a little bit of Portage. Um, my, my, my ward is, consists of uh, Latinos, uh, biggest, uh, the second largest Latino population in the city of Chicago, uh, representing Latin and Latino ex uh, people in my community. Uh, one thing I'm looking forward to is working with everybody, doing great things in city council and for the city of Chicago and for the working class. That is my biggest thing and I thank you very much and I'm humbly grateful to be here in your presence and have a great day. Thank you, Alderman. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Jay. Uh, my name's Ariel Roboyas. I'm uh, the alderman of the 30th Ward. I've, this is my fifth term. Uh, prior to this, I worked for the city of Chicago for 24 years. Prior to that, I was a school teacher for about a year and a half, so uh, the CPS didn't pay me enough, so I moved on. <laughs> but I'm um, very happy to be here today. I think this should be a monthly event. I think there's a lot of things we can learn from one another here. But I want to welcome our newly elected. Uh, your honeymoon is over. <laughs> Wait till that phone rings. And the first thing they're going to say, remember, I elected you. <laughs> so get used to it. Uh, it's a lot of work. A lot of th good things are going to happen here in Chicago. And I'm very happy to be part of it once again. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Rebois.
Good morning, everybody. My name is Matt Martin, the new 47th Ward Alderman. So that is primarily Lincoln Square, Ravenswood, North Center. Um, before this, I was working at the Illinois Attorney General's office uh, on police reform. So I wrote the consent decree, helped write the consent decree. Um, so it's an issue I feel very passionately about. I look forward to working with my colleagues on continuing that important work. Um, my phone has been ringing off the hook <laughs> since I started. Um, and I look forward to working with everyone on council and working for everyone here in this room. So thanks very much. Thank you, Alderman Martin. Good morning, Ed and Jay. My name is Pat Dowell. I'm the third ward alderman. <laughs> and I represent the communities of the South Loop, Bronzeville, Washington Park, and Fuller Park. Very pleased to be here at the City Club this morning. This is not a new uh, room for me. Um, I'm very, I come here and support this organization. I'm not a member. Ed, I will become a member. <laughs> um, hey. You were one of the best students we ever had in the executive development program, oh, thank so I'm you. so proud of what's thank happened. Um, I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Uh, we've got a lot of challenges in the city, public safety, our uh, finances, uh, schools, you name it. Uh, but I'm proud to be in a body where I work with a lot of my colleagues in this room, great people. We care about the city, and we look forward to working for you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alderman uh, Michelle Smith of the 43rd Ward, representing <laughs> uh, Lincoln Park and uh, the Gold Coast, and we're, I'm so uh, excited to be here today. I'm beginning my third term. I'm very honored that Mayor Lightfoot has asked me to chair her Ethics and Good Governance Committee. Uh, we're gonna be introducing a bunch of new reforms on Wednesday. And um, I really look forward to um, continuing our battle to open up Chicago government, make it more accessible to everyone here. I'm also very proud that I'm one of the uh, aldermen, along with Tom Tunney and Brendan Riley and Brian and uh, Matt O'Shea, who, who really um, sort of wear our desire to help uh, business on our sleeves, make it easier to do business in the city of Chicago, and I'm sure that we're going to keep on with those efforts. But I'm I'm so proud to be working now with, going to be working now with many of our colleagues uh, along with our new administration, and uh, look forward to working with everybody here. Thank you, Thank Alderman you. Smith. Good morning. I'm Alderman Jason Irvin of the 28th Ward from the West Side of Chicago. West side is the best side, yes, that is true. <laughs> Represent the communities of Austin, East and West Garfield Park, uh, parts of the Illinois Medical District, the West Loop, and Little Italy. So I have a very diverse ward, probably one of the most diverse in the city of Chicago, racially and economically. I'm also chair of the Automatic Black Caucus, uh, working with now 20 uh, colleagues, uh, which is we haven't had 20 members since the 90s. So we look forward to bringing some very positive uh, outcomes for people that live on the south and west sides of Chicago, and thank you guys for having us. Thank you, Alderman Irvin. Thank you. Um, good morning, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, my name is Byron Sicho Lopez, the Alderman of the 25th Ward. Um, also a newly elected Alderman, and I'm very humbled to be here representing the 25th Ward. I'd like to contest to my colleagues about the different categories of being the most dynamic, the most diverse uh, areas. I know that we will have a disagreement there. Uh, uh, we, we have a, a beautiful community, Pilsen, Chinatown, the West Loop, Abla Home, Little Italy, and McKinley Park. So I'd like to see compete with that. Um, but we're really honored to, to be here. It's a new day for the city. Uh, we, we like to to see a city that moves forward, finds uh, stability, but also finds uh, the balance that we need to, to see. I'm also right now overseeing the 78, the largest project in the city. And I think it's a responsibility for all of us to make sure that we find that balance between development, sustainability, and growing to make sure that the, the, the communities that have been here for, here for a long time also have a place in our communities. So I look forward to make sure that the current administration is successful. I think it's up to all of us. Uh, I think that the, given the diversity, the, the different the points of view, perspectives in the new council, I do think that if we cannot do it, I don't know who else can do it. So I look forward to make sure that we all work together to make it happen. Thank you again. 
Thank you very much, Alderman. We have a uh, Alderman Hairston arrived, and we'd like to introduce her to everybody. So, Amanda, you have the mic, and now pass it along to Alderman Hairston. Okay. Alder, just take a minute to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Leslie Hairston. I am the Alderman of the Fifth Ward. That is on the southeast side of the city of Chicago. Um, on the lakefront, it is home to the University of Chicago. It is also home to the proposed Obama Presidential Center. And I represent the communities of Woodlawn, Greater Grand Crossing, South Shore, and Hyde Park. Thank you very much. We at the City Club are very, very grateful that our aldermen and alderwomen took time from their very busy schedules to come with us and meet with us this morning. We're thankful to the City Club members who joined us here this morning. And elected officials, we'd like you to think of the City Club as one of your potential resources and forums. If you have any ideas, uh, program suggestions, panelists, speakers, that you would like to suggest to us, just contact our office and we'll see what we can do about satisfying some of those requests. But the City Club is a perfect place for people to meet, to exchange ideas. If you watch our sponsorship of Chicago Tonight on Monday nights, you know that we cover all shades of the spectrum. Um, we cover all of the parties involved in government, politics, business, industry, and more. And we'd like you to think of this as one of your possible resources. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this. We think it was a terrific premier event. So thank you very much for being here. <laughs>